So last year I had this call, it was on August 27th is what it was, where the rack lost all the refrigerant. We had all the cases on this rack down and I barely caught this rack when I got there seeping out the last little bit of refrigerant. And I found the leak on the middle discharge line coming out of the compressor where it joins with the header. Right, right there. Tiny little crack, isn't it? You wouldn't think that that, that would happen. But it did. Sometimes if the leak is so big, it'll blow right through the bubbles. So you got to kind of do this number right there with your thumb uh, and the bubble solution for picture purposes because, you know, your customers want pictures. They want proof. Or at least that's what I do. So it should be an easy enough fix, right? Just got to clean it up and you know, sand it. And that's just my thing. I always sand everything I work on deep down into the globs of solder even to try to get all the trash out and dirtiness out. And you know, it's probably overkill, but whatever I'm doing, I just gotta have clean metal. And so this is the discharge line coming into the oil separator and out of the oil separator. I am connected to it with my blue gauge over here on the discharge line, measuring discharge line pressure. The red side of my gauges and the red hose is coming over here to the compressor of the middle compressor where the, the one that the leak came from. And so when that valve is shut off, I'm isolating compressor crankcase pressure from the discharge line pressure just upstream of it. Doing that was very important because there was still obviously a lot of pressure within it that needed to be bled off. So I was able to valve it off at the compressor and then valve it off just beyond the oil separator so that that could get zero PSI so that I could perform the repair. So this being inch and three eighths pipe for the header, you gotta get it pretty hot. So I did that and just my luck, right when I was gonna apply solder, my camera got repositioned, got moved and I didn't get that part on camera. But I was able to get it done with, uh, I, I use 15%, I don't use five, I use 15. So then after the repair, I put about 100 pounds of pressure in it and that did it, I was good no leak on that crack that crack is fixed and i'm ready to start it back up and add refrigerant now with this i didn't pull a vacuum because i never opened up the line to any atmospheric pressure so open those valves up the king valve on the compressor and last valve to open is this big ball valve heading to the condenser All right, so with all the valves open, we look here at my standing pressure. It's 183. We're about to turn it all on. And you can see we've got hardly, not much at all in there. So we're going to add some refrigerant now. See, we're running here. 274 PSI on discharge, according to the computer, and a 0% liquid level. And there's my jug in the background, flipped upside down. I'm adding refrigerant, that's the first jug. And here we're running 0% liquid level, 277 discharge pressure. But then after adding that one jug, or during adding that one jug, I've got some, some liquid appearing in the side glass. And I'm measuring some discharge temperature. I'm gonna add the second jug. And that's really gonna be about it. We're gonna get this rack charged up. Other than that, it's running a little higher pressure than I would like it to be, ideally, um, but it's still not too bad. Uh, we could get up to 300, a little bit above 300 if we have to on hot days, and this was a particularly hot day. But once I got closer to the end, after my second jug went in, and then after my third jug, I was getting a little higher, and then when I had a 9% liquid level, 9.34% liquid level, sitting at 315.6. So I figured best to go up on the roof and check the condenser. So of course, it was really dirty. It's really hard to see on camera, but this has got to be one of the dirtiest coils I came across uh, on the roof for the whole season. And I could literally spend all day up here washing it and cleaning it, and it would help maybe a little bit, but it wouldn't justify the time. The store wouldn't like it they wouldn't understand but this was one of the hottest days we had uh, in Houston August 27th of 2023 uh, we recorded 109 degrees 
um, for the for the high that day. But that's not really the temperature on the roof. It's it's hotter up on the roof with the sun beaming down all day long on these condensers. It's a lot hotter. Probably probably running around 115 up there, maybe a little higher. So it was hot. But this is what happens and how dirty it gets. You just have problems if you don't maintain and clean your equipment. It gets really dirty like this to where it takes forever to clean it. So after about an hour or two up there washing it, I decided to just call it a day. We're finished. And, uh, and that was it. So leak repaired. Good job. Rack B's back up and running. And we're all set. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I make a video. If you like this content. And see you guys next time.